This week at Art Club, we are opening the doors to our Find Your Creative Voice course. And it's freestyle week, so draw with anything you fancy. Plus, we'll be announcing the winners of the new Good Ship Pins, badges, whatever you call them. Hello, welcome to Art Club. I've got the coat behind me, let me close that door. Um, I also have this very pleasing plant. How are you getting on? What have you got to draw with and on? It's um, it's freestyle week, look Helen's here. Helen. So yeah, you can draw with anything you like. Do whatever you want. Somebody else can go live, is that Helen? That's Helen. Hello. Hello, how are you doing Katie? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. I just boiled the kettle, but I didn't get a chance to put the hot water into the cup. Yeah, I haven't got one either. I'm hoping that at some point Jerry will nip upstairs and I can order from the bar. Yeah, tell him. Click it. Yours, me. <laughs> exactly. Hey, it's an exciting art club tonight. It's too exciting, to yeah. be honest. <laughs> it's too exciting. All day I've been like, oh, stay calm. Just a yeah. normal art club. But it's not yeah. a normal art club, is it? Because yeah. you're doing so many exciting things. Yeah. We're opening the doors for the course, so you can buy your tickets now. If you want to climb aboard, you can do it right now. And we're also announcing the badge winners, aren't we? We are. We had a meeting earlier to pick out with a magic hat. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got 25. It was so hard to choose 25 because we didn't realise how many of you would s do such lovely reviews and enter. So thank you very much. Yeah, that was brilliant. So I've printed out the list here. So at some point I'll read that out. Oh, I didn't need to order from the bar. The bar just delivered wow. me my usual. I've got a cup of tea. You've got a pre-order. Yeah, hey, where's my five... Edna Flips? Oh, what five-star treatment! <laughs> hey. Amazing. So yeah, freestyle week, badge winners, course doors open. Hey, it's all happening. It's all happening. Hey. And look at this glorious new plant. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that. It looks like seaweed. It's from your favourite shop as well. So my sister got me it for my birthday. She's like, it's just from Asda, so don't worry if it dies. Oh. <laughs> my favorite I was thinking, which is my favourite shop? And I was trying to think of all the fancy shops in town. Asda, Asda is fancy, Helen. <laughs> Very fancy, oh. okay. <laughs> well, I've got, I've, I know it's a bit boring. I've got my usual man. But behind him, I've got this bright pink sign. And so I'm going to kind of do a bit of negative space drawing using pink as the background, I think. That's a good I'm plan. in the mood for a bit of bright, you know, um, pink panther pink. I've got some paint stick in hey. complimentary colours, so I'm feeling uh, easy nice. Be nice. My new budgie friends, I thought they'd be good to do. Oh, look at those oh, aren't they lovely they're so were pleased. they a birthday present the cameron bought them and just hasn't put them up but i've claimed them now so oh i love <laughs> like those oh like as a and alice will love those alice you will you go, alice. alice alice is our um good ship lifeguard she keeps the yeah. ship afloat she keeps her ship shape she works in the emails she does a lot more than working in the emails she does everything um, yeah. So yeah, if you if over the weekend anything happens, like you accidentally buy two courses by mistake, or you can't get the thing to work, email Alice, and first thing Monday morning she'll be replying to everybody, making sure everybody's all right. She's yeah. very nice, isn't she? But yeah, she, she loves budgies. She loves budgies. That, She's got. That she was got my pet. point. Uh huh. She got a pet budgie. Yeah, she's got a few yeah. pet budgies. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was my whole point talking about Alice. Yeah, she's a crazy budget. That's, that's a good point though because we're we're trying to be really relaxed. So if you don't get a reply straight away over the weekend, it's because it's a weekend. But we'll get back to you in the new week. Yeah, because we've worked so hard all week getting everything ready, making sure the website was right, and the courses now instead of six weeks, it's eight weeks. So we've been fixing all that. So we've been so busy all week. What we decided to do was open the doors. And then anybody who emails us first thing Monday morning, we'll be in there. Alice will be in there fixing anything. I mean, there might not be anything to fix, but, you know, don't panic over the weekend. If you've got a message and you don't hear from us, it's fine. We'll be there. Not allowed to panic. <laughs> <ever>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
do that a lot in the course as well because people panic that they're behind but there's no such thing yeah you can't get behind it's an eight week course but that doesn't mean you've got to put eight, eight weeks of your life aside because you've got lifetime access haven't you yep you're free as a bird you could do one module a decade <laughs> <laughs> you'd be fine <laughs> what a decade wow you'd be in your it's 80s only, 90s yeah, 80s. <laughs> Yeah, good idea, Katie. Yeah, what a decade. Right. Keep the bar low and then you'll exceed your expectations and you'll be like, wow, I'm cancelled. <laughs> true, true. Oh, right, shall I just set the timer? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Then... Are you going to be able to concentrate on drawing? I don't think I am. No, but these budgies are very cute, so that's keeping me going. Hey. Right, how about a one minute? Should we do a quick one minute drawing? Yes, so they swarm on fish. Yeah. My paint sticks already here then. I'll buy them. All good. Oh, I've got my ink as well. I feel well prepared. Oops, somebody just said they've already signed up. Woohoo, welcome. Hey, brilliant. You can fast today. I think this is a record because we normally, because I can't do the buttons and be at Art Club, I sneakily do them before, but I don't think we've ever had eight people join before we even start art club it's definitely a... we hadn't even told anybody the doors were open and people are in already brilliant yeah well impressed yeah and all the people who signed up before can just join in again because it's lifetime access so um yeah. yeah we'll do zoom calls again if you're here and you've done it before remember you can join us for the zoom calls right we'll be welcome with open internet arms <laughs> I've got it set for one minute. Are you ready? Okay. Warm up Go. time. Oh, scary noises. Oh, it was one minute, ten seconds. We've still got over a minute. That's good because that's the sort of time it takes to get your brain into gear. That ten yes. To dip your paint, brush in your paint. I mixed some bright pink paint before we started. Is that cheating? No, that's allowed, I think. Do you know everything's allowed tonight because it's freestyle night? So let's. Oh yeah, anything of course. Goes. Anything goes. There's no rules. Do you, do you think you're allowed to even draw things from your memory? Would that be allowed? No, no, that's oh. not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> it's freestyle, but it's not that freestyle. <laughs> Come on. That's Don't get ideas are. above your station. <laughs> <laughs> Testing the boundaries. <laughs> Uh oh, we've only got 17 seconds left. I've completely forgotten about the timer. Oh, I was just having a nice time. Me too. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I didn't even get my paint sticks out here then. Not so. I've managed to do like the negative space around the horse, but absolutely nothing else. Oh. So it looks a bit abstract it's just a pink outline <laughs> <laughs> i did the opposite i just did lines you've done the opposite things uh -huh. oh nice lines johnny hannah's here saying have you announced the badges yet, hey. not, yet. not yet not yet not yet not yet hey that's nice to see johnny have you seen the brilliant picture he's done of the good ship in the north i love London it <laughs> I saw somebody. We've all got like, tattooed faces. <laughs> You're going to get our faces tattooed now. I'm going to have that <laughs> with North East. I think that'll be nice. You can, you can do some teardrops. Tanya could get yeah, some. Yeah, I'm volunteering. Tanya has the dagger through her nose. I'm yeah. not doing that. <laughs> Tanya would be well up. <laughs> I've realised I'm still painting. <gasps> Excuse <Okay>. me. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> Should we set the timer again? Yeah, let's do it. I'm going back to the same picture. Are you? Okay. Mm. Mm. It's do you want? Do you want? <laughs> <laughs> There's real. nothing you can do about it. Right, <laughs> two minutes. Yeah. Two minutes. Go. Two minutes. Right. Nalzi's on to you. She said, Helen mm -hmm. cheats. I know Nalzi every week. It's <laughs> <laughs> not true. <laughs> Okay, it's budgie time. I kind of want to draw them upright. Did you say two minutes? 
Yeah, two minutes. Oh, ages, that's good. Yeah, ages. So yeah, if you've got any questions about the course, feel free to ask while we're while we're drawing. And if we don't answer our Tanya's in the comments, she can help you too. Oh, it's, I'm really enjoying this bright pink background. Such a pleasing colour. <laughs> I just looked at the phone and I got confused about whose screen was whose. I was like, oh my god, are you using the same paint stick as me? But that's my own hand. <laughs> <laughs> that pink background does look satisfying. It is. Is it making your eyes go, go nice? See when you see a nice colour and your eyes feel good? Yeah, it's very pleasing. And I'm using a green crayon with the pink and the green and the pink are playing mm. alongside very nicely. They're playing nicely together. <laughs> so I love about pink and orange, you know, like fruit salad colours. Yeah. They make my eyes happy. Oh yeah, pink and orange are good. They're like refresher sweets. Yeah. Oh, no. no. <sighs> Doesn't look like a budgie. <laughs> it looks like a budgie from here. <laughs> Poor the budgie. We'll let him off. <laughs> Double thumbs up. Double thumbs up and a mouthful of Erdnuss flips. <laughs> oh, look at them. <laughs> I love it. Is that his, that's his jacket, but it looks a little bit like two really saggy long boobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's his jacket. Long flowing breasts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Uh, he probably uh, does as well, considering how funny his back leg is. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Famous leg. <laughs> Both legs are funny, but that one's hilarious. Right. I'm drawing on packing paper tonight. Tonight, It's really nice to draw on. Oh, fancy. It's a bit crinkly. I've just flattened it out a bit. It's very nice. Yeah. I think I must be in the back of the sketchbook because I thought it was full. But I think I've done like, I think I've done one drawing in it. Amazing. <laughs> Here's Jasmine. Hello. She's you've cleaned going... the. <laughs> She's cleaned the kitchen first. Wow, that's bad priorities. <laughs> yeah, that's really the wrong way round. Come on, Jasmine. <laughs> So you've got to draw the to, uh, <laughs> cleaning. So we should tell people a bit more about the course, I reckon. Yes, definitely. Go on. Maybe then. The... <laughs> <laughs> Good idea, Helen. On you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's all about finding your creative voice, isn't it? And figuring yeah. out what work you want to make and what feels good to you. Not getting sucked along into trends and what other people think you should make. Yeah, exactly. Because when we, so Katie and Tanya and I all live in the same little seaside town and we're all illustrators, but we work in really different areas of illustration. And um, we used to meet up for coffees. Do you remember that when you were allowed to go to tea coffee shops and chat? and In the good old days. In the good old days. And um, we used to always just end up chatting about all of our experiences and we'd have such a good time and we learned so much from each other about each other's area of illustration. And we kept saying, this is really useful stuff. If I'd just left college, I'd really want to know all this. And so we decided to make a course because we're all from really different areas of illustration. We decided that the one area we realized, the one area where we all of us really cross in our experience is the bit where you've got to work out who you are, like where you belong as an illustrator, what area you're going to illustrate and what your work is going to look like, what your um what you're going to say as an illustrator also what your visual voice is going to be and so we decided to go with that didn't we that's the first course yeah and it's been so this is we started 
So the good ship's been sailing for about a year, exactly, a little bit more now. Yeah. Um, and in that time, we've had so many lovely people go through and start finding their creative voice. And people, the things people have achieved after the course is amazing when you read yeah, it. Yeah, it is. People got into courses that they wanted or they've won competitions. Um, or even just having the confidence to back out of contracts that they weren't happy with. <laughs> like, sometimes yeah. the achievements are sort of like undoing. Like, they've realised they don't want to go in that direction. So they're like, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going to like backpedal and go in the yeah. other direction. But yeah, that's my it's sort of thing. being brave enough to turn down work that is just not making you happy anymore, isn't it? There was one yeah. person who decided actually she didn't even want to be an illustrator anymore, which is really positive. She made yeah. up her mind. And we've had people who've redesigned their websites, opened shops. Um, uh, Margot Ken got a brilliant commission after she did the course, doing the next. We're allowed to announce the news now, she officially, we're allowed to tell everybody. She's illustrating the next Lemony Snicket book, which is amazing. So cool. Um, yeah, there's been so many amazing outcomes, haven't there? Somebody, I think a couple of people have got onto their MA courses. Amazing. Yeah. People have opened shops and started selling their work because they don't feel scared anymore. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's Witchcrafty saying, I love how the course is helpful for people at all levels. Yeah. So we, we made it so that if you've never been to art school, it works works for you. If you've been to art school, but you're left really still not sure what your creative voice was, that's good. Um, some people have been to art school, but then taken time out to have children or taken a job or, you know, life has just kind of distracted them from their path to be an illustrator or an artist. Um, so, yeah, it's for people at all levels. There's no kind of right age to find your creative voice, is there? Yeah, it's like open to all people and yeah i think we do have a wide age range don't we? we have people fresh who are thinking of maybe going to uni or maybe not and we have people who are retired <laughs> and yeah sort of just experimenting with illustration and seeing how they get on with it mm. Mm. oh that's oh. sarah lacy said she loved it uh yeah i always think of you guys and if i'm flying my fruit flag yes Hooray. Hooray. <laughs> brilliant punk will never over in it's art a, in middle age it's the perfect time perfect time yeah <laughs> there are Chris is it good for people at art school it is good for people at art school definitely yeah I it's sort sometimes of sometimes like, you can go through art school without actually working out who you are um yeah i know i did i definitely didn't when i came out of art school i wasn't fully formed as an illustrator now no, I felt like I was surviving. <laughs> you get the deadlines done, and be like, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, Here's the me too. Finished. Yeah, there wasn't I very also, much. Room. Also, there's that thing about you leave as an illustrator, and you might get some work as an illustrator, but you feel like you've been sort of pulled in the wrong direction. All of the commissions came from somewhere that doesn't quite feel you. That happened to me. I, I had quite a lot of books published that just felt like I was going further and further down a route that I didn't feel comfortable. And so, yeah, I took some time out. I took about a year out and went back to my sketchbooks and went back to remembering what I'd done pre-working as an illustrator and really worked at finding my own voice for a period of time and then and then came back again. And it's the best thing I ever did. So brilliant. Yeah, that magic break. Yeah. To, to re Also, yeah. I think... It's easy to sort of get led along, isn't it? Yeah. And also when you when you go to art school, university or whatever, at the end, they just sort of like pop you out like a cannon. <laughs> and you, you've had yeah. this lovely you and all these friends and then you're kind of catapult into the world and you're like, oh my God, like, how, what do I do now? And you don't, yeah. like, you're probably working from home. So just having that, all the people around you, like when we were going for coffee, having that community feeling yeah. is so, so valuable. It is, you lose all, your, well, I felt when I left art school, like I lost all my people, like, all of the people that made me feel like me and the surroundings of the art school and the smell of the art school spat out the other end and it's like, I haven't got any of that anymore. What am I? Where am I? It's really hard. Do you see Johnny's comment? <laughs> no, did you see he's nipping out for wine? Yeah, he's nipping out for wine. He says, don't, don't announce the badges yet. I'm just here for a badge. <laughs> uh, I've got one of Johnny's badges on, look. Not the um, folk badge. Isn't that yeah. nice? I bought one of of um, amazing Northumberland women because we were in it. 
<laughs> I was like, ah, yes, the good ship illustration. What an excellent publication this is. I basically bought one of every single piece of merchandise that was in the shop. Amazing. Because <laughs> I just couldn't resist it. It was all so good. Yeah. Well done, Johnny. <laughs> Somebody was asking there if we have any animators on the course. Definitely. Yes, we have. We definitely, because yeah. um, we have a Facebook group and it's a private group so you can share your work with each other in a safe space. And um, there's definitely been a few animators animating their stuff in there, haven't, hasn't there? Yeah, mm. definitely. Mm. And the, somebody was asking about the bonus this weekend. If you join before Sunday night, you get to come to the early bird Zoom, which yeah. is like art club on steroids, isn't it? <laughs> it's like the best get, art club. <laughs> yeah, we get to see what you're doing as well, which is brilliant. Oh, look, so that's a big comment. Who's that there? Oh. Is that? And narrative space says it was wonderful and has inspired me to draw more freely with all the tips and techniques also a fantastic supportive network thank you and looking forward to lifelong continual creative checkups hey brilliant brilliant that's nice that's i'm gonna see if i can get rid of my comments now now the comments have taken up my whole there we are that's better yeah. <laughs> anyway oh. should we set the timer Yes, good minds, great minds. Can okay. I pour the bottle of water on my tea bag? Go for it. I'll do it. Go for it. I'll Go be back. For it. I won't set the timer until you get back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. Cups me. Made the cup. I'm sorry, I'm eating a crisp while I'm speaking. That's not polite. That's terrible. Love the course. Makes me feel much freer and more confident. Ray. There we go. I've got, I'm having got a jam. Cup tea. Ooh, lovely. Okay, fancy. There we are. Mm -hmm. can't, can't do art club without a drink. No, you need one. Right, <clears throat> I'm setting the timer. Three minutes. Okay. You happy three minutes, yeah? I'm Hello. happy with three minutes and full sufficiency. Hooray, go. <laughs> three minutes. Three minutes, okay. <laughs> Jasmine says, yeah, Jasmine, it's you in T4. <laughs> it's my favourite. It smells so good. It actually smells better than it tastes, but never mind. Oh, you know how I got my exciting new bike for my birthday? Yeah managed to i forgot that at my studio if you leave after five they lock you in right so my bike got locked in prison oh but cameron's mum is neighbors with the lady who sometimes works on reception yeah so, <laughs> i phoned cameron he phoned his mum she phoned the receptionist she phoned <laughs> the man who owns the building and he, he came back and got my bike out of prison Hooray! Oh, that's nice. It was, it was very nice. Where was it? Did you take it indoors somewhere? Yeah, there's like a sort of courtyardy bit inside the studio. Ah. And then they lock all the gates. But it's my. I just got lost track of time. I was having a fun time in the studio. Oh. Not lock. Oh, that's nice. It just shows it's who you know, Katie. Who you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pull strings. Holiday. I'm not going to see my bike till Tuesday. That would have been very sad. It would have been so sad. And also, <laughs> the man who owned the building, he was like, oh yeah, I saw your bike on Instagram. I was like, oh no. Wow, really? Yeah. Right, you have to be careful what you say about the studio from now on then. That's what I thought. I thought <laughs> or the internet or anything. <laughs> I always assume that absolutely nobody I know in real life ever sees anything that I do on Instagram, which is silly, really. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> oh, I'm not feeling it with this drawing. Are you not? No. It's the excitement, you see. It is, it's the excitement. Whenever we open the doors to Art Club, I never have a very good drawing night that night. It's too distracting. Me either. I'm too busy. Oh, oh I'm excited. Oh. 
much time. Oh, we've only got 20. I was going to start another drawing, but we've only got 22 seconds left. So I won't. We're going to do badge winners. That would be exciting. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. There we are, time's up. Mush. There's mine. That pink is so good. <laughs> My little girl looks so me cool. a nicer drawing than I thought it was while I was doing it, actually. Yeah. It's not too bad. This. Hey, I really like how you haven't drawn a line around the outside of it. Just the, the marks on his body suggest where the outline of him is. That's nice. Yeah, that's because I ran out of time. <laughs> oh, well, that was a happy accident. Oh, 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 my, um, oh, my iPad is running out of power. Hang on a minute. <gasps> it's all right. We've got, we've got 10% left. I might shout Jerry and ask him to bring the charger. Anyway, badge winners, badge winners. Shall I read them out? Badge winners. Yeah, read I'm them out. I'm worried I'm going to read them all out wrong because they've all got Instagram names that I find hard to say. But anyway, we'll have a go. Entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Jess. Huh? I'm excited. <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> Jessica Bishop Doyle, Jane Sunbeam, Holly Ooh. Witchcrafty. Bedroom Floor Productions, Marty Lapointe Malchik, Livingston Onion, Nanette Regan, Emma Collins, Naomi Tipping, Sarah Lacey, Julia Wolf Books, Martina Aiko, Owl House Illustration, Natasha Major Majer, uh, Zero Happy, who is Benjamin Adler, uh, Charlotte Durantz. Blue Shine Art, Kathy Challender, Jasmine, I don't know how you say the rest of it. <laughs> don't worry, we'll, we'll put all this on Instagram later. We'll link everybody. Yeah. Uh, Amber Parton, Helen Marie, 1976, Teresa Forrest, Sue's Illustrations, uh, Yu Tong T and Tracy Sutra. Yay! Yay! Everybody! <laughs> Yay! Well done, everybody. We'll do a proper post and link everybody in. Yes, and we'll find everyone's proper Instagram names and put them as a mention so you can see them all. And, yeah. and we'll need your... But we'll sort that later, that's boring. <laughs> yeah, and also, Johnny, you're not on the list, but you're going to get a badge because you're in the course. You've made a film for us in the course, so of course you're going to get a badge. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so if you're in in the course already you'll know johnny's a celebrity in the good ship course yeah i can't wait to see the badges they're not quite ready yet they're going to be here on i think tanya said like the 10th of june maybe so we'll mm. send them all out as soon as they arrive and i'm going to wear like 10 of them all over my jumper everywhere i go like a gang <laughs> oh it's bedroom floor production's birthday as well what a fabulous present hey, brilliant double yeah, witchcrafty, yeah, brilliant. <laughs> yeah, we'll do another draw soon, we will. We'll do another one. Because there, yeah. there were way more entries. We thought 25 winners, that'll be fine. But there were way more entries than we expected. So yeah. we'll have to do it again. That'll be everyone. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> hey, brilliant. Yes. <clears throat> Somebody's okay. asking with the question box. Oh, it was Naomi Tipping saying, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, hey. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> okay, should we do another one? Yeah, should we do a longer one? Yeah, what about six minutes? Yeah, six minutes sounds good. Six minutes, yeah. Okay, oh, no, people get ready. Five. You didn't get one, there'll be more times. Oh, that's all right. Oh, I don't like people being unhappy. We have to fix it. We have to give out more. Yeah. Just do another draw. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you ready? Six minutes, Katie. Are you ready? Okay. Miss go. Line. go, go, go. I think I need my glasses on. I think that's part of the issue. Is my objects are just a bit too oh that's better. Much better. 
Can you My see objects them? were just a bit too far away. I couldn't see them properly. You've got to be, you've got to be able to see. Right. Now they're steaming up, though. Oh. They're steaming up. They must have been... Oh. My drone must be cold. <laughs> My face must be hot. <laughs> hot face. <laughs> oh, God, that's really annoying. <laughs> oh, they're not steaming up. They're just dirty because I've had them sat on top of my head. Oh, um, no. Uh... Oh, I've gone off the page. Misjudged distance. People are asking if they can buy a badge, but we, we're not buy, We're not going to put them up for sale because they're like a Blue Peter badge. When they arrive, I'm putting them in a safe and I'm going to keep <laughs> them guarded. <laughs> yes. It's like... It's like winning a Blue Peter badge is going to have security guards. Nobody gets one unless they do an extraordinary endeavour for the sake of art. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. This is good for strictness. <laughs> We're going to be very, very strict about it, obviously. But yeah, yeah, we do want them to be special and not like just a, a shoppy thing. But how many are we getting made? We're getting lots made, aren't we? I can't remember now whether we decided on a hundred or if it was three hundred. Yeah, if it was three hundred, we can be we can um, open the safe door a bit more often than I'd imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tanya's Tanya's chief of production regards to pins. <laughs> Which Crafty says Helen will guard them by wearing them all. That is a really good <laughs> idea. I think I will. <laughs> then I'm going to need security though, aren't I, everywhere I go? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well you can have Peggy as a bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the idea of Peggy protecting me from anybody. <laughs> <laughs> She's protecting the seabirds. She's very responsible. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Peggy needs a police dog uniform. Oh, I really wish they would give her a uniform. It would be so funny. You should, yeah, definitely. You can I make her one. I could just make her one. I mean, I've made yeah. her some pajamas already. And yeah, maybe a round, maybe a range of, you know, range of pajamas would be the next <laughs> outfit. <laughs> they could put motivational quotes on it, like, I will not eat the birds. <laughs> the birds <laughs> I'm not sure how long she can stick to these rules without us carrying a lead around with us everywhere. <laughs> it's a bit much to expect of um, a dog that is bred to chase birds. <laughs> <laughs> Going against her very DNA. Yeah, exactly. Speaking of birds, there's a lovely, I can hear some bird song. It must be a, a blackbird or something. Oh, they're so lovely this time of the evening, aren't they? Yeah. It's like being at the centre parks or something. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> like centre parks is better than <laughs> just all of the green fields around your house. <laughs> yes, luxurious nature, not really <laughs> I think I talk about Centre Parks quite often actually when I think about it I don't know whether we've ever talked about Centre Parks at Art Club No, I think I've kept that part of myself hidden <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know about your passion for Centre Parks <laughs> I don't know if it's a passion, more of a calling <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I need a glue stick What are you up to? Well uh, I've made um, the handsome prince's leg a bit too long, so I was going to get, <laughs> I was gonna get a, a pr oh there we are, I was going to get a glue stick, glue a bit over his short leg and then make it longer, that's the plan. <laughs> Amazing, <laughs> his, his leg is always... <laughs> <laughs> his his leg is really important, I mean, handsome princes have <laughs> got to have 
just the right length of leg, just the right width. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a well-known fact. <laughs> I wouldn't trust a prince if his leg was too long. <laughs> or short. Yeah, exactly. Or thin. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be fat and just the right length. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> which crafty uh, said could be the worst to be Scotland's friends. Also said, which crafty Tanya pointed out today that your name is not Witchy Crafty, which is what we've been I think it's me that says that all the time. I've but, always said it, but then after Tanya said, How can we always call her Witchy Crafty? When I read out the badge winners, I actually called her Witch Crafty. Whoa. I got it right. There we <laughs> Oh, that was a good fun one. I enjoyed that. It's good to I do another one. I drew a budgie on its side with my pencil case behind it. <gasps> oh, very nice continuous line. Oh, oh it's lovely line. that. Very we'll nice. Here's my handsome prince with his leg. Oh. It looks like a flared trouser now because where I've glued the paper on, it's all wet and it's gone dark. He looks there like he a trendy teenager. They've got those jeans now, haven't they? <laughs> like tight at the top and then really baggy and a little bit too short so you can see the cool socks <laughs> exactly or no socks hashtag fat uh, my dad mm -hmm. calls me that too which is that witchy crafty witchy crafty's mm -hmm. dad actually calls her witchy crafty <laughs> <laughs> Mary Gosling Art for Fun says, I sent you a DM. I would love to get involved in the future. Thank you. We'll have a read afterwards. Hmm. What would you like to be involved with? <laughs> Maybe the prince. Maybe like... the what? The prince. The prince? Oh, yeah, I, the don't prince. Blame her. I don't blame yeah. her. He's irresistible, <laughs> isn't he? <laughs> I'm assuming... Or maybe the course. <laughs> maybe she's going to do the course with us at some other time. That's nice. Yeah, that's allowed. I'm... Yeah, I'm that's another thing. A bit more pain. Huh? If, if now, that's another thing worth mentioning. Like, if now's not the right time for the course, don't worry about it. Art club still happens. We've still got the podcast for you to listen to. We we'll still love you. <laughs> if yeah. now's not the right time. yeah. Also, if it's not the right time, but you're just nosy and you want to have a look, you could buy it now. Have a nosy around, but not do it until you've got time. Like, yeah, you can still join, and because you've got. As we keep saying, you've got lifetime access, so yeah. And when we say There's lifetime, time of the course, which is hope, like we have no plans to get rid of it, but it's just worth mentioning. That. No, but you just said before you could do one every decade, which means that we have to leave it online now for at least eighty years. Yeah, I've said it. <laughs> I, I think that might go on longer than I'm gonna live. <laughs> Maybe will. I'd have to live till I'm about one hundred and thirty or something. I might retract that suggestion. Maybe I'm more. <laughs> bit too slow so there is behind <laughs> so if you're doing one module a decade you need to pick up the pace a little bit <laughs> tanya's asking about the dog ranging well tanya peggy has been officially asked by an organization called shorebirds maybe it's say, space for shorebirds it's called peggy has been asked to be a ranger to protect the birds you secretly drawing her no, I'm mixing some more paint, look. Okay. I just had to I check. Out of paint. I had to check. <laughs> Carry on. Keeping your mind open. Yeah, she's been asked to protect birds, but, you know, she's a cross between a Bedlington and a Patterdale, so she's basically bred to catch birds. She never does. She's never caught one. Anyway, I asked her if she wanted to be a dog ranger, and... Well, she just stared at me. <laughs> I took that as a yes. Resounding <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's very... <laughs> uh, that was a... Did you see... Uh, Sarah Who says, could you tell us what the course tasks are like? So was... every week... There, so each week there's a new module... A module, I mean module, arrives in your inbox. And there is always... Um, at least one video. There's usually a few videos, aren't there? Yeah. Um, the tasks are... Well, what are the tasks, Katie? Yeah. They're all kind of different things. So they're different techniques or prompts or tasks to like invigorate you to get started and try out brand new things. 
and to wiggle about so that you can find out what kind of work feels really good for you. So let's, if we gave you like a list of tasks, it would sound really boring, but when they're all together in this magic container, yes. it does sort of catapult you on to finding new ways of working, work, ways of working that feel good, not just trendy. Um, they're kind of they're helping you find your visual voice but also your voice as a person that your interests and learn to appreciate all the good things that make you you the things that make you stand out from the crowd and make your work individual because um it's very easy to get dragged along following a style so if if you're you know you're on instagram a lot my battery is really really low i'm going to be one second i'm just going to shout jerry to bring the charger hang on oh ali says my mate mel has just signed up way go on mel <laughs> but yeah what we were talking about style and things oh yeah and i think if you if you can carve out your own way of working that feels really good and is completely you firstly it's difficult for people to copy you because you're being yourself so much secondly you stand out because you might feel like there's so many other strings of people all doing the same thing and blah blah blah. Um, so yeah, finding your would be a lovely way to stand out. She's back! Hello! I'm back! I'm Plug me in. Charger in! That's better! Hooray! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I did that when I was live illustrating once. I hadn't plugged my laptop in but had no idea and my, everything just died. I was like, oh no. Oh no. A disaster. I have I have pre-live event plugging in obsession. I'm like, is it plugged in? Is it switched on? Is it plugged in? <laughs> I'm still mixing my paint. I haven't got the right pink panther pink ready yet. We've got to get that before we start drawing again. Yeah, pink. so that, like one of the most valuable, maybe you were just saying this, Katie, I don't know, but one of the best things about finding your own unique voice is that you're really going to stand out from the crowd. You're not going to just be another illustrator drawing in this style that happens to be really trendy right now because it's really hard. You know, if, if a trend catches your eye and you love it and you join in and you do it a bit, it's really hard to know what to do when trends move on. It's way, way better to kind of know who you are. Um, you stand out from the crowd and you'll have a career that lasts longer. Yeah, sustainable longevity, and it'll feel fun because you don't want to be trying on somebody else's jacket for your entire life, like putting on somebody else's style and trying. You don't, you don't want to do that. You want a no. comfy piece of. You don't want to go out of fashion. You just want no. to be you. Yeah, I'm, I'm so I'm half distracted. I'm talking about it and half distracted, going, "Ooh, my pink, my pink. Look at my pink. <laughs> I have to show you it because it's so nice." Can we have a look? Oh, oh look at that. Ah! I've just spilled oh, no. it on my crisps. <laughs> <laughs> Not on the crisps, no. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> Pink endless flips, so good. Maybe I should try drawing with crisps. I was going to say, don't eat one. <laughs> I won't eat one. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, should we set the timer again? Oh, this is interesting. Mary Gosling, Art for Fun, says it's frustrating wanting to be involved, but something as simple as hearing stops you. Uh, that might be about captions on Instagram Live. So when we upload the... Oh, what's the point of saying this? But Tanya, you could write this in the chat. When we upload the replay, I think it does captions on the, on the replay when we upload it. So Mary Gosling will be able to see what we're talking about. And we're it's, it's, the Within the course, we have captions on all the videos and everything as well, so um, it won't stop you doing the course. Yeah, and we're really, we we'll make sure to upload the tech chat, and we've experimented with automatic captioning for the live call, so we'll bring that back in. Yeah. Um, yeah, because it's very important. Yeah. And even if, even if you're not deaf or hard of hearing, but if you're not a native English speaker, it can be really handy to have captions, so it's good for yeah. everyone. And we have transcripts for all the films as well as captions, so hopefully it's good for everybody. Yeah, thank you, Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should just shout other things for Tanya to write. <laughs> 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 right, okay, should we set the timer? Yeah, it's quarter two already. Oh my, my goodness, where did the time go? We're going to come back during the week, aren't we? We are, we've um, got a special and yeah we're gonna do we've got two workshops coming up haven't we we've got one 
Well, one is an, an, um, an hour of just answering everybody's questions about the course. And the other one is brain training. We love doing a brain training session, don't we? Brain training for artists. Um, have we, I've forgotten what days. Did we say Tuesday and Thursday? Yeah, Tuesday for Q&A and Thursday for work, I think. Yeah, brilliant. Excellent. Who's just come into the house? Cameron, what are you doing? <laughs> He's creeping, apparently. Is he? <laughs> He's just Jerry said, Jer I can hear Jerry in the shower. Can you hear the water running? No. <laughs> when, when I went to get my charger, he wasn't available. He was in the shower. How inconsiderate. I <laughs> know, how dare he not just sit outside the door waiting in case I need anything. He needs to be on hand for the kettle. Amazing. <laughs> 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 okay, let's do a drawing, shall we? Yeah, okay, right. Uh, we've got, oh my goodness, we've got 14 minutes left. Should we do... Should we do a seven minute drawing? Yes, seven minutes. Okay. Go. Okay. I'm going to draw my sunglasses. I've lost my sunglasses. Oh no. So annoying. The sun was out today and a friend called around to sit in the garden. It was so nice. We sat in the garden having chats this afternoon. It was lovely, but... I spent the whole time squinting because I couldn't find my sunglasses. Oh, that's so annoying. I always lose headphones, that's annoying. Yeah, I do that as well. I, in fact, I just lose everything. <laughs> I'm really, really bad. My glasses, my purse, everything. Oh, yeah. Keys, that's a good one. Yeah. And then I get angry. House is not losing your keys. I get angry because I've lost them and then everybody in the house is cowering because I'm going, wah, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> not good. <laughs> my mum used to always be like, have you moved my keys? <laughs> <laughs> you, you've put this somewhere. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> have you borrowed this? And then she'd find it and be like, oh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't do that. I don't think I do, but I do make I do make the atmosphere feel as if it's probably everybody else's fault. Even. <laughs> well, it is <laughs> It's important to divert the blame, really. Yeah, that's part. It makes you feel better, doesn't it? Like yeah. this is someone else's fault. <laughs> happening to me. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> So we've got in the course, we've got lots of good um, speakers and people who've made films for us. We've got uh, Chris Horton, picture book illustrator, Chris Horton. Oh yeah, he does a we've good one. Yeah, he's, oh, his film's absolutely brilliant. He's so good with colour, isn't he? He's amazing. Printed Peanut. Uh, printed Peanut. And Johnny, who was here or is here, or getting his wine. Johnny has made us an amazing, brilliant film. Um, who else have we got? Marion Ducars and... Oh, yeah. We've got Al Martin from Tank Girl, who made Tank Girl. Yeah. Uh, Leonie Dunstan. Oh, yeah, Leonie, yeah. Oh, her <laughs> film is brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> There's a lot of swearing in that one, but you'll be ready for it. Yeah, it's good swearing. Yeah, it's useful swearing. Yeah. <laughs> What are you microwaving? He's not listening to me. Oh, have you got a microwave? Yeah. Can I come round with a chocolate digestive sometime and put it in your microwave? Because I really remember that from my childhood. It's the only thing 
It's the only thing that I would want to buy a microwave for is a you digestive biscuit. <laughs> if you if you microwave a chocolate digestive, you've basically got a really the digestive is cooked a bit more, so it's slightly burnt, and there's nothing nicer than a burnt biscuit. But then True. on the top, the chocolate is all melted, so you can taste it even more than on a normal biscuit. <gasps> it's incredible. Ooh, that does sound nice. Need to buy some chocolate digesters. But yes, you're welcome to come around any time you want, Helen, to okay. microwave biscuits. I'll be round in 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Cameron. I told Helen she could come around any time <laughs> to microwave <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I, when I was little, one of my friend's mums used to microwave Mars bars. That was good. Oh, really? Yeah, and have but it with ice cream. Then, oh, um, yeah. Well, I, can, I was going to say, well, how do you eat it then? Do you just spoon it out of a bowl? But yeah, pour it on ice cream. Yeah, exactly. No. Mm. Molten Mars bar with ice cream is so good. Is that pie? Yeah, she's shouting into the shower, shouting through the door to the shower, where's the super glue? Oh. I don't know what she's doing. Maybe she's made the prince's leg too. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's making like a little box that's got a scene inside it. And the box is just the right size to go on a bookshelf between her books. Oh. That's her mission at the moment. That sounds brilliant. Yeah. Oh, I think he must be making dinner if he's microwaving things. Defrosting things. <laughs> yes. I've got very hungry now, all of a sudden. We've already eaten before I came on. Jerry made us omelettes. Oh, nice. Mm. It's a good quick tea. Yeah. Rather than mm. curry tonight. Oh, nice. It was supposed to be chilly, but we had a unanimous vote that curry would be nicer. Oh, sure. Yeah. I was going to say that in the course, there's an, an amazing um, colour module. It's so, yeah. so, so good. Um, amazing. It, yeah, and everybody loves the colour color module. So if you're yeah. somebody who struggles with um, going from black and white drawings to colour, then you will love that one. Yeah. Brilliant. It's nice, isn't it? And it, even if you think mm. you can of theory stuff at school or uni, when you, yeah, it just kind of blows your mind. It really does, because um, I always think, I remember being at college and people's, trying to teach us about colour and I'd be like, I know about colour, I don't want to know about colour. It feels instinctive, I don't want to know. Um, then Tanya made this incredible film and it's just like, whoa, just learned so much from it. It's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. And Bridging the Gap, Tanya's talking, yeah, there's a whole module where we talk about, a lot of people are really pleased with their sketchbook drawings or drawings they do at Art Club. They have a life and an energy in them. And then they decide they're going to do a piece of artwork or an illustration and the energy just completely goes. And so we have a whole module about bridging the gap between rough drawings or sketchbook work and what you might call a final illustration. We try not to call it that because even the word final kind yeah, of kills yeah. the work before you've even <laughs> made it, doesn't it? Try yeah, not to use the word final. Yeah, it's definitely one of the most commonly mm. asked things, isn't it? Like, how do I take all this sketching yeah. and observation? Or into finished artwork. So yeah, we've got a yeah. whole one, which is yeah. juicy. Yeah. Do you make people hand in homework? No, 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 never. No, no. Yeah, we can, and we encourage it because it's a, a group program. It's all about finding your voice and getting independent and building up your trust in your own work. So 
there would be no point in us looking at it anyway because that's just what we think so it's all yeah. about you liking your own work it's about building confidence around your own work and like recognizing when it feels good to you like there's nothing better than when you've done a piece of artwork and you look at it and you can't quite you don't actually really remember doing it you don't know even how it got done and it gives you this amazing feeling that lasts for ages and so we want everybody to feel that and that's not about somebody else telling you yes that's good no that's not good it's not about that so we do have a facebook group where people can share their work with other people if they want to but we definitely don't um mark people's work yeah and even the, the facebook thing some people choose to kind of go into hermit mode and not post online at all and really just go inward and do their own thing and then come out at the end like all renewed because it can be sometimes helpful to kind of unhook from social media and likes and worrying whether things are going to perform well and all that rubbish so it's it's completely up to you though like we don't tell people stay off instagram or post yeah. on instagram and i was um i i really don't like facebook and i left facebook a few years ago in a complete huff just like so sick of it but when we decided to launch the good ship i thought well i'll i'll sign up again purely for the good ship and so I have. And the only thing I look at is the Facebook group for The Good Ship. And it's brilliant. It's so lovely. There's loads of really inspiring work on there and people helping each other out. And then they get to know each other. Friendships happen. And then they've been meeting in real life when we're allowed for sketchbooking trips. And it's yeah. brilliant. It's such a nice group. They've even set up accountability groups, people keeping each other accountable to get stuff. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like co work yeah. work on the course. It's the best. <coughs> Sketch and Joy says, is it okay to join if you're not a professional yet? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah, definitely. You would love it. If, you, if you're struggling to know exactly what your work is, or you just need another kind of kickstart to get you going if you've had a break, or if you left art school and you, you still feel lost, yeah, absolutely. You'll love it. Oh, and there's Ralphie W. Ralphie W is like, ah, oh, he's our mascot pupil because... He joined the very first round we ever did while we were in lockdown. He hadn't drawn since he was 11 and he started drawing again. He draws every day. He wakes up really early in the morning to do some sketches every morning. He's just prolific with the amount of work he's producing. He's made illustrations for his um, website um, and he's learning to screen print now. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. I love it. Every single day there's new drawings, isn't there? Love it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and and they're, they're so good as well. They're so yeah. good. The, I love They've the got dog. real energy and character, haven't they? Frankie the dog. Yeah, Frankie. <laughs> JF Cross says, I'm a data scientist and I joined last year. You know, I think there's a large percentage of scientists. I don't know what it is about the community. I didn't know JF Prod was a data scientist. Wow. Yeah. God, that's uh, brilliant. It's like a science gang inside the community of like people who were scientists and became illustrators. It's amazing. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, we've got two minutes left. Shall we do your favourite bit? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ellen, do you want to see the drawing? It was, it was a, I tried to do the um, typeface from the pink board behind her. Oh. Yeah, quite pleased with that, I think. Look, don't know. I have to put it in the magic drawer and see what I think of it later. A bit. Ooh, they're so good. Do you know, I thought you'd held up like a, a photograph <laughs> or something at first. <laughs> a photo they're, photo very, <laughs> they're like very out of character for art clubs. They're so precisely yeah. drawn. Look at those. I don't know. What happened. I think maybe the. <laughs> Made me <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ten second animal. Right, I'll get the um, timer ready. So, oh, ten no. second animal is where people write animals in the comments. Katie reads one out, and then I press go. So, before you can do a Google search or anything, you got to get that animal out of your head. If you can even remember what that animal is, down on paper, and the results are often bonkers sometimes really boring yeah it's, it's usually one or two one of the two it's like there's got there's like a sweet spot between the drawing being amazing because it's really bad and so it's hilarious and you just can't stop laughing or amazing because actually it's really very good and actually looks like the animal 
the boring bit is this massive area in the middle where I feel like I often fall into like it's not good enough to be really good it's not bad enough to be hilarious <laughs> oh. <coughs> there's lots of things I've heard of going on here what's a gnu I don't We're not know. a gnu <laughs> I don't know I feel like the word gnu is part of my childhood like I used to know what it was and I've forgotten like Maybe it was on Animal Magic or something like that. A GNU. I have no idea. Oh, I've seen one. Are you ready? Right. Uh, yeah, go for it. Python. Python. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Masterpiece. <laughs> oh, look at his head. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Why has he got like a dog face? <laughs> dog face? Dog it's face. supposed to be like a forked tongue, but it looks more like really good mustachios, doesn't it? <laughs> He's a mustachio python. Also, I, I tried to make him curl around, but got a bit lost in here somewhere. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, dear. But, Oh yeah, one one person is asking what happens in brain training. So we'll, we'll post more about that. But it's it's like a workout for your brain to help you draw amazingly. Yeah, it's part. It's kind of a little tiny part of our bridging the gap week, really. It's like a a way of um, bridging from drawing from life to drawing um, to making final artwork or illustration. Um, yeah. Well, so are we doing that Thursday? Is that Thursday? Yeah. 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 Oh, I can't wait for that. I love it when we do that. <laughs> Gonna be fun. Does it hurt? Yeah. It it really does. It's really painful. <laughs> You'll hate it. Your brain sweats. <laughs> <laughs> and one person asked if you've done if you joined the course last time, can you join in again? And the answer is yes, 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 definitely. Yeah, yeah. We we just love seeing all our familiar faces on the Zoom calls. Yeah, you've got to come again. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, us. Thank you right, for coming. We'll see you. We'll see you on Tuesday. And um, yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh, don't forget to share your illustration. The sorry, your drawings from tonight with the hashtag Good Ship Illo. And if you've made a good mess on the desk, show us that as well with the hashtag Art Club Aftermath. Hey, oh look, El Thompson. Look. And yeah we'll, we'll see you when the course starts so you've got a whole week to enroll but you get a bonus if you join this weekend we have a bonus zoom call don't we a zoom party for anybody who joins this weekend Amazing. brilliant yeah we'll see you on tuesday see you tuesday bye everybody bye, -bye. <laughs>